Hello everyone, I am Akhil. Welcome to you all to my YouTube channel. I am starting a new series of Firebase integration in Android application. If you want to integrate Firebase in your application, then don't forget to watch all the videos of this series. So, we will be creating notes application and then we will save the notes on the Firebase database and we will read the notes from the same. So, let's start. So, here I am creating an Android application named as notes and yes so i have created i'll create the activity named as uh, where is the activity okay so here i have selected the empty activity and i'll rename it as register activity register so okay so activity has been created now i'll go and just wait a minute okay so inside the activity here I'll change line. I'll create the layout first. So the main layout of the activity, what it should be. So the registration activity. So basically there will be one edit text and one button. Edited to edit text to enter the username and button to submit the whatever the data we have entered. That is the username. So the as edit username and okay. And I'm creating button wrap content and RDS button register. Okay, so I'm done with the thing. Okay, so I have created uh, my text and button, and uh, I'll name it like I'll give the orientation as a vertical and I'll give the padding as 20 dp so here you can check the view a text and the button that's it so i'll go to the main activity and I'll create my edit text and uh, variable as edit username and button so button name will be btn register so here i'll go to the on create method and will give the edit username the reference that is r dot id dot edit username and uh, i'll give the reference to the button that is button register equals to find view by id r dot id dot but btn register okay that's it i'll remove this and okay one more thing set I'll do anything okay so here I'll be using the MVP pattern so I'm creating I register presenter here uh, so I'll instead of class I'll name it as interface and I'll create one more interface that is view which my activity is going to implement okay. so for the view like there is method I'll, I'll name the method as mm, it, my view is going to show the message so show message uh, will be the method going to implement by view so, and uh, yes navigate to login screen will be the second method okay. so that's it now I'll go to the uh, presenter which uh, my presenter is going to implement so the methods are wait a minute uh, okay so method will be register so as i'm re i'll be registering the uh, so whatever the registration has been uh, registration will be going on that registration will be done by my presenter and uh, my activity will give uh, my activity call this method register so my presenter is going to implement the business logic so okay i'll create the model user and it is it will be having only username for a while okay so here i have created a uh, username and set user methods that is getter and status and uh, i'll need one more method as validation so validate user validate user and the input will be user user that's it guys now Oops, deleted. Okay, so 
now I'll go to my I register and uh, I will just check in okay so I'll create one more thing as register presenter so this is my implementation of the register presenter interface so I'll implement the register in presenter interface and yes I have implemented the method I need to create the constructor to accept the view so here I'm creating view view yes so presenter view private view and view so I have created the local variable and I'll assign the reference to my local variable whatever I'm getting from the constructor okay so I got the, so here I'll get the reference of the class which is going to implement view so in the validate user I'll validate whether the user is having the correct data or not so for a while we have only the username so I'll just check whether the username is empty or not if it is empty so it is not a valid username so I'll return it as false else true that's it now I'll go to register user so here if the validate user validate user so I'm passing user whatever I'm getting from the uh, like the one who is calling this method so same user we are I'm passing to the validate user if it is true so it means I'll be able to register the user so the register user else uh, user is not registered or the validation is failed that is what the else part should be so but I'll do one thing I'll remove the else part okay and uh, whatever so here only if it is registered I will return the true and in the validate user uh, I'll add the message if the user is registered so I'll, I'll give the message from here itself we have the method uh, which is named as view dot show message okay so from here I can tell a user to show the I mean tell my controller to show this message so if it is not valid I tell him to enter the valid case itself else I'll return as true so I don't need to do uh, so I have validated everything so if the validation is true I do the registrations else no need of that anyways my validate user is going to give the message so that's it user is registered so that's why I'm returning true but uh, I'll do one thing before return true I'll uh, I'll navigate after before the return true I'll navigate user to the login screen so once the user is successfully registered I'll navigate him to the login screen that's it now I'll go to the yes okay I'll show, show. because what are the data I'm returning so if I'm returning uh, navigating it to the login screen no need of this boolean variable so I'll make it as void so in the interface uh, I made it void and that's it so in the register activity I'll implement my presenter so, but the thing is like I forgot like I mistakenly written uh, some of my like uh, my edit user and these variables I have defined in main activity whereas I have um, defined like uh, in the I have defined these uh, buttons and uh, these widgets in the register activity but uh, I mentioned the variables in the main activity so I copy pasted here and uh, I am implementing the uh, presenter uh, I mean view um, interface so this navigate to login screen method will be for after registration it will be getting invoked from my presenter I show message here what are the message uh, my present wants to communicate to my controller will be conveyed to the user using show message so that's it now I'm creating a variable of register presenter implementation that's it there is a variable and I'll allocate it so using new register presenter implementation and I'm passing it as a this so it it refers to this class as this class implements uh, that interface so 
I'm done now whatever the, I'm implementing the button register set on click listener and implementing the interface with the on click listener so that's it and here I'll implement switch case uh, view dot get ID and inside that case r dot id dot button register and I'll break it so in the button register I'll invoke my I'll tell my presenter to do the registration that's it and I'll I'll need to pass in the user so I'll get the string str username uh, username out of my edit text that is get text dot to string so I got my username now I'll create the user object so user user and make user so I'll assign whatever the data I got from the edit box and I'll, I'll just set the values of the user and I'll pass the user object to my register user so that's it this is what the registration is now in the navigate to screen so I'm just showing a toast message so that I have navigated to the login screen okay. now I'll run the application oops my emulator is started and meanwhile for a minute okay it takes some time to load this emulator so I just uh, I got you know I'll make it as boolean uh, like whatever I kept it earlier and I'll make the boolean here as well in the implementation class and in the register activity okay so here why is showing the error okay so I need to return yeah true, right return false and return inside it should be written true so whatever it was earlier so I'll tell you why I have I'm doing this to boolean because after registration okay I need to clear like whatever the test user has entered I wanted to uh, clear that text from the edit text okay so edit text dot set text to empty so basically if the user is registered so my text from the edit text will be empty I'm creating that it's taking a lot of time. I'll close the emulator. Stop the project. Okay, I'm running the emulator again, and um, we'll see whether it's running properly or not. Oops, uh, it shows hello world. I got the error because I haven't set the activity, and uh, I'm just see. I have created the main activity now, so that's why I'm giving the launcher activity to my register activity, and once. I would make it as fast boot and I uh, will see whether the changes are reflecting or not and gradle invoke invocation finished installing apk well it depends on the computer speed yes it's installed I'm creating my name like I, okay navigate to the login screen one thing is small thing is like that user registered successful message we haven't given so I'll add that message that's it so I'll go to the register presenter implementation and before navigating I tell you like I'll tell the controller that I have registered or tell yes tell to controller that I have registered successfully user register successfully and then control will display it to the user that's it now we'll run it again and we'll see whether it's reflecting properly or not so applied changes hello register user register successfully and then user navigated to login screen that's it guys from today's video if you like the video don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel thank you